Hello my YouTube friends. This video is a bit overdue. I get a lot of questions about how to add captions for music or subtitles to a live stream. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do it and it's really easy. And by the way, it's also free, of course. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then why not subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. Now to add our captions, we're gonna use a website called webcaptioner.com. There is a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Now just so you know, the program is a pay what you feel like program, which means you can pay nothing at all. But if you do find that you use it and you like it, please consider donating to help keep awesome stuff like this alive. Let me show you how it works. Here we are in webcaptioner.com and we're going to click start captioning up in the top right hand corner and you can see here it doesn't like me because I'm using Firefox and not Google Chrome. So just be aware that this app is only going to work in Google Chrome. So let's open up a Chrome window. Here we go. And now up in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna click start captioning. Now I'm gonna go down here to the bottom right hand corner and set up my settings a little bit and click that and go to settings. And we could see in here, there are all kinds of different things. We want our sensitivity to be on high. I'm gonna adjust my audio while captioning down to one here so that it'll add line breaks more frequently, which I like. You can always start captioning when the page loads and that's fine if you want. I like to just click start captioning when I feel like it. And there are some keyboard shortcuts that you can set up here. But let's go into appearance and we're going to go ahead and change our font here. And there are lots of different fonts that you can choose from. We're gonna go with this Roboto slab right here and you can change your text color right in here. You could change your text size, line height, and letter spacing. Very easy, you can capitalize uppercase, lowercase, however you want. These are gonna show what they look like, but our background color is exactly the same as our text color, so right now, it's not showing up. You can also see that you can add shadows and stuff, and if you go over on the left and select channels, you can see there are different things that you can add captions to, and experiments doesn't do much for me. Languages, you can go in here and select the language that you would like for your captions. It's only going to do the language that you are actually speaking, so just keep that in mind. Word replacements, uh, you can have you can have it replace foul language or something with other words if you would like, but you know, it's best just to go ahead and use the censor profane language up here in the top and just have it remove those foul language occurrences that might actually happen. So I'm gonna go down here and click start captioning and it's going to bring up a thing that says, do you want to allow the microphone? You just click yes. You can see it has my default microphone in here, which is not my default microphone. And this could happen to you as well. So the first thing I need to do to change this is up here, I wanna click on this little camera here and I can use this to change my option for microphone, but it's not actually letting me use the drop down. So I'm just going to click manage and this brings me into my microphone and here I'm able to drop it down and select the proper microphone that I want to use, which is awesome. Now you can see when I go back into Web Captioner, it's listening to the right one. It says it's too quiet, but it's not. But we're still not seeing anything. And of course, that's because I have black text on a black background. So we're gonna click this. We're gonna go into settings. We're gonna select appearance and we're going to change our text color to white. And magically, now we can see everything. It shows you all of the things with your alignment and all that stuff. But let's click out of here. And now you can see our text. And mine is pretty large, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter what size it is. You just want to make sure it's visible and a readable font and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go into settings again, and we're going to click the settings button. We're going to go into appearance. And here's where you can change your alignment if you would like to. You can also add padding in between lines. 
but I'm going to change my background color here. We're gonna change this to uh, this lime green color, which shockingly is about the same color as a green screen. You don't need to be perfect, you just need to be close. And I'm gonna exit out of this, and now you can see we've got this green screen background behind it. And that's gonna make it really easy to add this as a caption. So I wanna take a second to tell you about a passion project of mine. It's a YouTube channel called For the Love of Cars, where I get to express my passion for all things automotive. I drive about anything I can get my hands on and talk about what I like and what I don't. So far I've done content on Tesla's Mustang GT and Mach-E and the new C8 Corvette just to name a few. If you're interested in cars or you just want to see what I do in my free time, do me a favor and check it out. There's a link in the description. I'll see you there. I'm gonna go back into OBS and we'll remove this text here. I don't need it. Let's just go ahead and create a new scene. Now I'm gonna go to Window Capture, and I'm gonna click OK. And now I'm gonna select the window I want, which is that Google Chrome window. And everything else is good, so I'm gonna click OK. And you can see this looks great, except for, well, we've got all this extra space and everything else. So I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and drag these edges so that we're only going to get the text that we want. And I don't want a lot of text, just the bottom two lines are gonna be perfectly fine here and we can resize this any way we want, move it to any location we want, but I don't really want that green background. I'm gonna right click here and go to filters. And then I'm gonna add a filter. We're gonna add our chroma key and click okay. And you can see it automatically removes it. It realizes that that color's green and you're all set and there you go. Now you can put this anywhere you want on the screen and it's just going to say whatever you say on that microphone that is registered in our web captions page. And this is really, really, really awesome because it's not actually that bad at interpreting what you say. So you can format it any way you want so it will show as much or as little as you want. You could probably play back other files so that it will record the audio from those files as well and give you some output. But what I wanna show you now is another piece of this where you can just add the closed captioning to your live stream. And to do that, you install this OBS WebSocket that's right over here on the right-hand side. So you would come to this page, the link is in the description, and you go to go to download. And we're gonna scroll down here to the install files for this. You can see you've got a Mac one, you have a Windows install or a Windows zip. I generally would use the installer. It's gonna go where it's supposed to go. And if you've ever installed anything on your Mac or your Windows machine, you shouldn't have any problems they work the same. So now that it's installed, you'll see this WebSocket server settings. And if I click on that, we can see our server port and all that stuff. So now if we go in here and we go to settings, I can go to channels and you can see I can add this OBS studio channel. I can configure it up so it goes to the server port that I have set up in WebSocket. And I don't have a password set. It's actually empty. So it's just going to the server port and you can see the settings match. And that's how you have to have it set up so you don't have to have authentication enabled or anything. And so once we update channel, you can turn it on and off here. Now, the thing is, is this is going to give you the stuff and you can see that it doesn't actually do anything different on the screen. That's the window capture we have right now. But what this will do is online services like YouTube or Facebook or something like that have a CC service that you can turn on at the bottom of your browser. So if you're live streaming and you're using this web capture option, you don't have to display the closed captioning on your screen, but the viewer will be able to click the CC button and get the closed captioning just as you're talking about it, which is really awesome. They're going to see all of this stuff just by using the CC button. And you can go down here and click that and you can turn it on or off. It's an awesome way to add closed captioning to your live stream and your audience doesn't have to see it all the time, but if someone wants to see it, they can just turn on the closed captioning. And again, this is a feature that's offered by Facebook and YouTube so that they can just click that closed captioning button and there you go. Did you know that everybody has a superpower? And for YouTube viewers, you have the power to supercharge a video so it can reach a wider audience. All you have to do to exercise this superpower is click that little thumbs up. It's right down there. If this video is helpful, please click it and tell YouTube that there's more people who should see it. Not only does it really help me, but it's gonna make my cat Dusty really happy. And if you wanna see how to add widgets to your live stream for subscribers and super chat alerts, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber 
or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.